This week, we interview Ali Ocho Torena. Ali is an amazing athlete from the University of North Dakota. In the interview, we talk about her time at the Rick Macy Tennis Academy down in Florida. We shift to our social media presence and her massive following. And then we finish it up by talking about her incredible first job that she just landed. I'm super excited to get into this one. Let's go. We welcome Ali Ocho Torena, who is a university North Dakota women's tennis player, digital marketer extraordinaire, and a TikTok guru. Tens of thousands of views on your TikToks uh, and reels. How's everything going today, Allie? It's good. Let's go. I love that intro. (laughs) Yes, let's go. This last month for you has just been crazy. Got to go to New York for um, just about a week, and then you landed a position with the Packers in mid-April, right? Or late April? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty recently, like a couple weeks ago. So yeah. Super you got to be feeling pretty, pretty high on life right now. That's, that's super exciting. Yeah. I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. When, when do you start that position up? I start June 6th. So really soon. So I am going to Florida for a couple of weeks and then I will head to Green Bay and get moved there like June 1st. I mean, mentioning Florida, so when you, you grew up in New Mexico, but you went to tennis academy in Florida, right? At the Rick Macy Tennis Academy. Yep. That's in Boca Raton, right? Yep. Yeah. So yep. I grew up as my dad, as my coach. And then for high school, I ended up going to Florida just for some different training. I actually got a scholarship to Rick Macy Tennis Academy for my three years. It was my freshman year when I got there. And so, yeah, I just started the tennis academy life. Yeah. And you were a super highly touted uh, prospect from New Mexico. You were the number two prospect in all of New Mexico. So did that number one girl, do you know who that was even? Like, I know you were a four star. I don't even know how you found that. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like it might have been, would it have maybe been Ivana Corley? She's at the University of Oklahoma now, maybe. That's pretty sick. But I I don't, I, I guess I don't know. But from my perspective, I'm a, like, love tennis so much, but the tennis academy life is so completely foreign to me. When I'm looking on Rick Macy, you know, online and stuff, they, it says they practice six hours a day. So are you on court six hours a day when, when you're there training? Yeah, so we would, it was six hours a day. We would start in the morning at eight to 10. We would do two hours of tennis and then an hour of fitness. So it was three hours in the morning, we would all go up and do our like online school. Like a lot of us did online school, but we were all on a little bit of different schedules. So, um, or just like different programs. So like, we'd all go do our own thing. And there was like a wide variety of like ages. So like anywhere from like little guys to like seniors and like high school, that kind of thing. Um, and then we would do that for a few hours and then we'd go back at three and go from three to five tennis and then lifting from five to six dang that's a crazy schedule do you do you think you get the 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 level of education like a public school when you're at an academy like that because you're on court practicing tennis so much it it seems like that's kind of like you're training to become either like you know a d1 athlete like yourself or you know a pro of some sort like Do you think that lacks at all, like going to online school? Yeah, the school, I mean, everybody did like different programs. So I did Connections Academy. I did Laurel Springs for one year. Those are some, a couple of common ones. Um, But yeah, no, it was not great. (laughs) Lots of (laughs) Google. What was your connection to UND then? Yeah, so my dad's doubles partner in college is Dave Getz. He's the head coach at UPenn. And so... He grew up in Grand Forks and was really good friends with Tom Wynn, who at the time was the head coach at UND. And so he had recommended I look into it, and it was definitely not high on my radar. Um, But I went on a visit, and I really liked it. I went to the hockey game and heard it probably immediately after that. I was like, yeah, I definitely want to go to school here. So I, like, the next day signed, and then the rest is history. Yeah. North Dakota hockey is unreal, and I'm sure Matt can attest to that being, you know, Matt attended uh, attended UND as well up there and, you know, was more or less your team. He was on the tennis team uh, on the men's side. Yep. So, <clears throat> Where were you yeah, yeah, we for two years. Yep. Yeah. No, I got to see Allie's, I got to see Allie's freshman year, and that was, that was fun to see her 
uh, just get acclimated, you know, coming from the academy all the way up to Grand Forks, being a Bemidji man myself, you know, it's kind of more of the same, but I got to got to see her grow as a person, as a player. And uh, that was really cool experience for me before I graduated and left. And uh, she, uh, she, I don't know, at least the women's team was kind of in a, kind of in a lull a little bit before you guys got there. I mean, I was, I was there for the 0 and 12 year in conference and you guys really turned that around quickly and uh, have now really established yourself as a, you know, a good division one team. So that's been, that's been amazing to see um, since, since guy, you know, as older, older guys and the gals mm-hmm. have left. So you guys have done a great job. Thank you. That's awesome. You studied or you're studying, uh, is it digital marketing or is it like visual arts? Like what, what's your major at UND? I think it's technically visual arts. So you can, it's graphic design, visual arts. Yeah. Right. How is, do you think UND prepared you well for graphic design, you know, digital arts, or do you think you really had to like focus your effort and time and, you know, learn, learn kind of on your own? Yeah, I don't think UND has a great design program. I don't think that's like a big secret or anything. Um, And so I would say my internship I did last year, I did a year long internship in the athletic department in graphic design. I think that probably really helped prepare me for applying to jobs, building a portfolio more so than the design program itself. Yeah, your, your portfolio is insane. And I'll, I'll uh, link that in our, um, in our YouTube um, description because it's insane. It's super, super well done. And you ended up, you know, landing a position with, with the Packers, which is absolutely insane. What it must've been a ton of competition to get that position and stuff like that. What was the process of, you know, applying for it? How many interviews did you have? Like, did you, did you have to just apply for like a ton of jobs before that? Did you get lucky? What was your yeah. So the sports industry is super competitive. So I had a few friends in the sports industry. Actually, a friend of mine was working with the Packers. And so I had reached out to her and she was like, you are going to have to apply to a bunch of jobs. It's going to be really tough. And so I applied to probably like 80 jobs, which is like crazy. And I probably interviewed for um, like five or six. Um, But yeah, it's super competitive for the Packers. It was um a virtual interview which a lot of jobs have and then it was um like a in-person zoom interview like live I guess like their pre-recorded questions so it was that but for a lot of the other graphic design jobs you have to have, do projects so like for the chiefs and vikings I had to do a project for them and then it was an interview after that so a little bit more extensive um but yeah it was competitive for sure so I'm really excited to get to start especially with the Packers using like your TikTok influence slash Instagram reels influence where you're you know posting you know different videos that actually get a ton of views do you know what or do you know how many like views like your most video has gotten do you have any idea I think it was one with Travis the cat one because it's like one of my pinned ones so I see it and it's at like 12 million or something ridiculous like it's always the ones you like (laughs) think are gonna do well that like do really well so it's really weird yeah so like the day in the life of like an NFL what player's girlfriend like it seems like you post quite a few of those do you do you like posting those like what's your inspiration for that do you think just good for views or I think those are fun to make I feel like those don't do exceptionally well on the views there's some where I'm like being sarcastic and like obviously it's a joke and then there's some that are serious so it's like unless you, I guess, get my sense of humor. Like a lot of people think the joking ones are serious. Um, but yeah, it's just fun to do. <laughs> yeah. So just to give everyone just kind of like a background, most people who are going to watch this probably know this, but you are dating my brother, Travis, who is, uh, he's on the New York Giants. He was on the New York Giants practice squad for seven weeks last year. So trying to earn a spot this year. And then Allie makes... TikTok, Instagram reels, a lot of different things. But one of the things that she focuses on is like day in the life of, you know, an NFL girlfriend. And she's throwing the ball to Travis, running 40s against him, a bunch of different things. But it's pretty entertaining. Um, I can't say I watched them all, but like it's they definitely a lot of people are watching them and they're going through the algorithm, the algorithm pretty good. So, I mean, people, yeah. people like them. Yeah. Thank so you. 
what what how did you get your um the idea of rapid fire at, for the women's tennis it seems like you're probably the one making that right it seems like you're yeah so i was making those i was actually talking to our sack advisor and he thought that that would be like a clever little idea i was like let's do it and then i don't know if you've seen like the 50 questions with vogue yeah <laughs> That was going to be my follow-up question. I've seen uh, Roger Federer, 50 questions, and they kind of just like walk with him and he's just kind of doing it. And that's that's immediately what I thought. So yeah. um, obviously with a little bit of a spin, like show show me your you know best trick shot, right. or who, you know, who's the funniest on the team. It's it's a bit different in terms of the questions, but minute, it, is it about a minute? Like maybe- Yeah, they're all a little bit different, but yeah, around there, kind of quick. What would you tell someone like an incoming freshman- um, going to UND or going to a, a college um, to try to get prepared, kind of go on the path that you have um, of getting that first job, which is a very, very good position. W what would you, uh, what advice would you give um, someone in your shoes coming in as a freshman to like yeah. get prepared? I would say just definitely take every opportunity you can to, whether it's like being in a committee on campus, things like that look really good on a resume. And at the time it kind of feels like a little bit tedious or like, I've just practiced and gone to school for eight hours and now I'm going to like go sit in a committee. But I think all that stuff like really helps in building a portfolio. And then I also think an internship is a huge game changer because a lot of the positions like will be like two to three years of experience, which like you won't have unless you've done an internship for a year or two in college. And so I think that definitely helps. And then like, if it's like soon in the, job search phase so if you're a junior or a senior I started in like November like getting my portfolio together and I like started applying for jobs then which was probably way too early but I just think being like super ahead of it I think relieves like a little bit of stress. So is your position with the Packers um is that going to be remote or is that going to be in Green Bay? No, it's in Green Bay, which is really nice. And oh. then it's one of the only NFL teams that you get the weekends off, which is really nice. So if Travis is able to watch him, which is really nice. Yeah, you'll get to travel and stuff. And hopefully he's playing yeah. on Sunday and you can, you know, go to those games. I want, is the New, New York's in the NFC, right? So they might play the Packers. Yeah, unfortunately, they play the Packers in London this year, which is just kind of oh. unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no. I know I'm like oh that won't be a trip I'll be making but <laughs> and then another question about the Packers so like the Packers are your team how insane is it to like you know get a position on like the team that you grew up really really liking and like you're a fan of yeah no it's super awesome at the end I actually ended up having a couple of different opportunities I could have gone with but I think being in a small town and smaller, smaller town than a lot of the NFL teams like Green Bay is like such a unique experience. And then being a Packers fan, I think that just like is icing the cake. And I feel like once I had that opportunity, I like couldn't say no. So I'm super excited. I don't know about Matt, but I'm a huge Vikings fan. So I wish I you had well. any position. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you can't, uh, you can't ever complain, especially when you, you know, land a job like you, like you did, but. Yeah, thank you. No, it was really fun to email the Vikings back and be like, sorry, I actually accepted a position with the Packers. So <laughs> <laughs> that's got to feel great. Um, you know, you spent four years up in Grand Forks, um, went through, uh, you, know, you know, just all the college tennis, you know, everything that college tennis players have to go through and with the busy schedule and making all those friends in Grand Forks and being a part of the UND tennis culture, what are you going to miss the most about uh, your four years up in Grand Forks? Oh, that's such a good question. I feel like the last few weeks have been like so bittersweet because it's a new opportunity, but also I've had like the best four years here. So I feel like just the people and just like going to practice every day, I know it's like sometimes feels a little tedious and like you can sometimes get sick of it, but I think just those little things are so fun. Just bonding with the team and being part of a team is just super great experience. Yeah. Would you say that like using your team experience and stuff like that, do you think that will you know, affect your career in any way? Like just kind of like be trying to be a close knit team, you know, when you're, when you're going on the Packers and stuff like that, like, do you have any translation? Do you think that will translate into your professional career? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, 
learning to work with people and different types of people, I think that will be really great going in to the working world and having been like the captain and managing a lot of different personalities, I think will definitely help me. And then just being a college athlete, like you guys know, I think it just sets you up for success. Like I would guess in the working world, just with the work ethic and stuff like that. So I think definitely be helpful. Obviously I can attest to, um, you know, watching Travis's schedule and obviously watching your schedule as well, Allie, do you, a lot of athletes don't get a lot of the opportunities for internships and, you know, summer jobs like a normal student, like probably like myself, where, you know, playing D3 tennis, it's not, you're not, you don't have the training resume throughout the, throughout the summer and stuff like that. Do you think um, tennis her, uh, helped you more or like hurt you more in terms of, like your graphic design stuff? Do you think it gave you more opportunities? I would say it helped me because I was able to get my internship within UND sports because I had worked with the media team. And so I knew them personally. So that was really easy to get. And then I think just learning work ethic and how to work with teammates, I think are all really great skills to have. And then that internship set me up really nicely. And then, um, yeah, I just think time management, all those little things you learn being an athlete really helps. And I think when people look to hire other people I think seeing that you're like an athlete is also like a nice thing to have on the resume so I think it definitely helps well Ellie thank you so much for joining us today uh I'm sure everyone's gonna really really like hearing you know your your new, unique story you know some of the things that you've done to better your you know your skills with graphic design and I'm super excited to see you know all those posts on I'll have to follow Green Bay even though they're not my team but it'll be super exciting yep. seeing you know you having a, a long and uh, great career with the Packers there. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Allie.